Hey there, it's Matt. I hope you're having a beautiful morning. Welcome to Bali. You know, a lot of attention we pay in our spiritual work <clears throat> is to overcoming our fear. But a lot of times what we perceive to be our fear of change is actually a kind of laziness and not wanting to do the difficult work of change. So we convince ourselves that we're afraid of change. But often what it actually is, is we don't want to do the work, the difficult work of changing our reality because staying in the same situation is easier. So instead of going to the gym, we sit on the couch. Instead of changing our relationship and looking for something better, we find it easier to just sit in the same unhappy, unhealthy situation. We tell, we're, we tell ourselves we're going to quit drinking or take that great step that we've always wanted to take. But it's hard. You know, change can be really difficult. And, you know, to tell ourselves that we're afraid of change is one thing. But to admit that we're stuck in the inertia of our habit patterns and to admit to ourselves that we don't really want to put the effort in, it's powerful to admit that because once we can admit to ourselves that we're trying to take the easier road, that's the first step to taking action. And I think that a lot of the reason that we have trouble motivating ourselves to take action is because we have a core unworthiness pattern that's ingrained in us that we don't really deserve to live our best life. We've incurred so much abuse and bullying and trauma and all these different things that we get into a defensive mode where all we're trying to do is survive. But coming from a place of survival makes it absolutely impossible to thrive. When you're in defense mode, just trying to do damage control and make sure that things don't get worse, it's impossible to think from the perspective of creating a new reality that's so much more fulfilling and really what we all deserve. So, you know, miracles can happen with very, very small steps. You know, if, if the problem is your weight, you don't have to think about running a marathon immediately. Go for a walk, start doing yoga. If you're thinking about changing your relationship, you don't necessarily have to get rid of the relationship immediately, by, but start by setting new boundaries stand up for yourself. Any of those small steps, any step is a difficult thing compared to just doing the same thing because it's always easier to keep doing what you've always done. But by doing what you've always done, you get the same results that you've always got. So instead of claiming that we're afraid of change and therefore we're not going to do it. What about admitting to ourselves that we don't want necessarily to take the difficult action that's required and be loving and compassionate with ourselves and start small. Get a list out, get a piece of paper, write down the things that you know you need to change and be honest with yourself. You know, don't diminish your bad habits. If you're really overweight, tell yourself, I'm really overweight. If you've got serious money problems, just say it. Like, what is the point of trying to diminish our problems so that it feeds our laziness and inertia? We got to get real. And we have to use our spiritual practice 
as a tool to motivate ourselves to connect with our divine selves, our flourishing selves, that has an abundance of energy, that has an abundance of money, that has an abundance of fitness, and that only accepts loving kindness and goodness in our reality and from the people around us. You know, if we're waiting until we're fully motivated and free of fear in order to take action, we will wait forever. The greatest antidote to your fear and laziness is taking action when you don't feel like doing it, is getting off our asses and going for that walk even when we really don't want to. You know, it's forcing ourselves to do something else when really all we want to do is sit in the room and get drunk again or sit on Facebook all night long or do whatever it is we do, go shopping again. You know, all these things that we do to distract ourselves and to feed that sense of stuckness is so debilitating. And what's amazing is that we spend years trying to motivate ourselves to get ready to take action. But then once we do it, we find that it's so much easier than we thought. We make a mountain out of change. But once you take the first step, the next step and the next step and the next step, it's so much easier than you thought. And before you know it, you're too busy taking action to be worrying about your fear. You're too busy living your new life to accept what has always been and to continue in that sort of stuckness of inertia. And as you start to move forward, you can be very assured that there will be people around you who expect you to be the person you've always been and they're stuck in their own laziness and inertia and they will try to pull you back down. And that's when you find out who your real friends are. So if you need help, send me a message. Get off your butt, take some action today and go out and get the happy reality that you deserve. Many blessings. Take care.